Anytime I sit down to record a video like this, I usually try to write out some kind of script or some notes or at least an idea of what it is that I want to say so that I don't rant, ramble and go around in circles for 20 or 30 minutes. I'm not doing that today because I want to talk about City Skylines 2. I want to talk about City Skylines 2 on console or the lack of City Skylines 2 on console. And I want to talk a little bit about the narrative that I've seen around the console version of the game, because there is good and there's bad, and I think we need to see a bit more of the good and a bit less of the bad. Now, in saying that, there is an elephant in the room that hasn't been addressed yet, and that is, of course, if you're not aware, the fact that City Skylines 2 on console has been delayed, and delayed indefinitely. Earlier this year, Colossal Order announced that they were aiming for an October 2024 release on City Skylines 2 on PlayStation and Xbox. They didn't promise that it would be October, but they did state that that is what they were aiming for as long as everything sort of went to plan and things certainly seemed to be going in that direction. I think the community in general with the Economy 2.0 update and the detailers patch I think we've all sort of sat back and gone, you know what, they're making some progress here. City Skylines 2 is heading in what seems to be a good direction. Economy 2.0 fixed a lot of the problems and introduced some challenge to the game. And the detailers patch added, what, eight new types of roundabouts, 27 service building variants, four new vehicles. It added a bunch of cool stuff that I'm really excited to play with. I've really enjoyed playing with so far and that I do genuinely think is a good step in the right direction for this game. But that doesn't really help the console players, and there are console players. And this is where I want to start addressing a very specific narrative and topic and, and trend that I've seen where there are people that pop up on Twitter and on Reddit and on the forums who routinely say something that's just not true, and that is that City Skylines 2 doesn't have that many fans on console, so it doesn't really matter just cancel the console release and focus on the PC version. Now, there's a couple of things wrong with that. Thing number one, the easiest thing that we can address is the fact that there are separate teams working on the console version of the game versus the PC version of the game. This has been stated at least once in a forum post. If I can find it, I'll link it in the video description. In fact, a lot of things will probably be linked down in the video description with uh, that I reference here. But that is a fact that there is a separate team working on it. So the work that's done for PC is done for PC. It doesn't take away from the console version and the work that's done for the console version doesn't take away from the work on the PC version. So that narrative is pointless. But what I think is more important to talk about is this dismissal of the console players because there are a lot of them. Now, no official numbers to my knowledge have ever been released, but I can tell you as a creator that a lot of the comments that come in over the years on my City Skylines 1 uh, videos would come from console players, especially when I'd be playing around with mods because it would be one of two types of comment. It would be a comment from a console player that said, hey, I wish I could build stuff like this on console, but we don't have mods. Or it would be someone that's like, man, I wish you would stop building with mods. I play on console. This sucks. And there's a lot of that. And I can guarantee you that a lot of other creators on this platform, on Twitch, on TikTok, everywhere, will have exactly the same experience. We don't have exact numbers for you, but there is a significant portion of this franchise's fan base that does play on PlayStation, on Xbox, or I think it went to Switch as well. There are console players out there that are waiting for City Skylines 2, and it sucks that it's looking like it's going to be over a year of delays before it hits their platform of choice. And we have to also acknowledge that not everybody wants a PC, not everybody uh, can use a PC, not everybody is able to, has, has the, not everyone has the, the money. A PC gaming can be kind of expensive, especially City Skylines 2 that tends to sort of need higher end systems. So I, I don't, I don't want to dismiss anybody. Everyone has their reasons for their chosen platform and I think there, there's this idea in the industry that, you know, the more people playing games, the better, right? It doesn't really matter. I think console wars are stupid. I think platform wars are stupid. 
I think more people playing City Skylines is great, and especially on console, because there's not that many games like this on console. So anyone sitting there saying, forget about the console players, forget about Xbox, forget about PlayStation, I don't think that's fair. I don't think that's the right approach to take it all. I think those people should have an opportunity to play this. It's it's that simple. That's that's the main takeaway that I have in this situation. It sucks that it's been delayed. I really feel for those people because City Skylines 2 is heading in a good direction. I have fallen in love with this game all over again ever since Economy 2.0 and now with the detailers patch and mods are doing a lot of that heavy lifting as well. I'm not going to lie. They really are doing a lot of heavy lifting and I know that code mods aren't going to be a thing on console, but asset mods somewhere down the line will be and also, to be fair, I mean, the detailers patch just added the surface tool to the base game, so it looks like they're willing to sort of take some things that are available in mods and add it to the game itself. So the console version could be really, really good when it eventually comes out. I'm getting sidetracked. This is why I usually write notes. I'm starting to rant and ramble, which I said at the start I wasn't going to do. I just think this sucks, and I think this narrative that the console version should be abandoned sucks. I don't think it's fair. Now, moving on just a little bit. I have seen a few headlines. I've seen a few YouTube video titles, things on TikTok, Twitter, YouTube shorts, whatever, saying that this is an indefinite delay. And I did mention earlier that it is, in fact, an indefinite delay. And the reason that's being said is that there is no mention of another sort of release window for City Skylines 2 on console. I wouldn't be surprised if the unfortunate reality is that we don't see it release on console until 2025, which would give us over a year worth of delays on this version of the game. But I think it's also important to acknowledge that this could be a huge opportunity for City Skylines 2. Now, I don't want to lean into the idea that this will save the game and Obviously, you know, a delayed game is going to be better than a game that's rushed out. Don't put it out when it's not ready, because that's just going to do terrible, terrible things for a franchise that has definitely suffered with a lackluster release of its first sequel. So I don't think City Skylines 2 on console should be rushed out. And while the delays suck, it does give room for this game to be better when it goes to console. There... There are some concerns. There is a concern with that, a very big concern that I have with that, which is that the last game that got indefinitely delayed that was published by Paradox was Life by You. And if you don't know what Life by You is or was, as we will come to find out, Life by You was essentially a Sims-like game. It was a life simulator similar to The Sims or Paralives is another one that's in development by another studio. I say was because after being indefinitely delayed, I believe a couple of weeks before it was due to come to Steam Early Access, the game was cancelled and the studio was shut. Now, I believe that was Paradox Tectonic. So it was a Paradox Studio. Colossal Order are oh, their, their game City Skylines is only published by Paradox, I believe. So I don't know exactly how that works. And I, I doubt anything like that's going to happen with City Skylines and console, but it definitely is a worry that's there in the back of my mind. But moving on from that, to talk about the main point that I have here, I was recently on a podcast. It was Flyvox's podcast, uh, Let's Talk Cities, or it was a City Skylines podcast. I'm, I'm drawing a blank on the name of it, but it will be linked in the video description. We talked a lot about Cities 1, Cities 2, about the industry. It's, it was a really good time had an absolute blast talking about it for a couple of hours. I do recommend checking it out. But in that podcast, I talked about what I believe to be the case for City Skylines 2 on console. And I've thought a lot about this from sort of a business point of view. I'm putting my business hat on here for a second. Not that I know how the games industry works, but let's say City Skylines 2 was done and ready to go on console. That's the point at which Paradox are going to start pumping some money in for marketing so that they can put out trailers, sponsored tweets and Instagram posts and ads on YouTube and all this kind of stuff to promote the fact that the game is coming out on console. And then when it releases, they'll have the launch trailers and all that good stuff. Maybe they'll try and get it into, you know, Gamescom or an Xbox showcase or a PlayStation showcase or whatever it might be they will do a big old marketing push to let you know 
that City Skylines 2 is now available on console. I don't know that that kind of marketing push, that kind of money would go into promoting City Skylines 2 if there isn't a console version to promote. And I say that because essentially this console version could do some really good things. Let's say the PC version's in a really good place, but the numbers aren't quite there because everyone stopped playing around launch. Let's say we all start seeing the marketing for the console version and a lot of people go, hey, I haven't played that in like a year and a half and it's coming out on console now. Let me go boot it up on Steam. It might revitalize the game a little bit. It might bring back some of those people that sort of moved on and forgot about it after the lackluster launch. So if it was to launch in a bad state on console, that's the only thing you're going to hear about. It could very well be the final nail in the city skylines coffin. And what I'm getting at is, well, honestly, I don't envy the developers tasked with making this game work on console because everything, everything is going to be underneath a microscope. And that sucks. That is rough. That is a rough, rough place to be in. Any little thing is going to be turned into a viral video, a viral tweet, whatever it might be. Ha ha ha, look at City Skylines 2 on console. Look, how, look at this bug. Oh my God. A year and a half delays and this thing doesn't work perfectly. I, I mean, don't get me wrong. I do still believe City Skylines 2 in general should have been delayed. I think it's now kind of reached a place where... I would accept this as sort of a 1.0 version of the game now that the economy is in a better place and we have some details coming out. I think it's in a good place now, but it is now, what, 10-ish months, 9-ish months since it came out? So, yeah, this, this trend of things coming out not finished also needs to just maybe stop, but that's a bigger industry problem. So I guess we should move on and get towards some kind of conclusion for this video because... As much as I don't want to rant and ramble, there's not a whole lot that I can add to this conversation beyond my opinion on how important the console version uh, could be if and when it releases and how much it sucks that it's delayed again. Now, like I said, I do think delaying it is the better choice over rushing it out because, I mean, we've already experienced the game not really working all that well once already. Let's not do that again. It sucks. There's no world in which this doesn't suck, but hopefully it leads to a better City Skylines 2 on console eventually. 2025 is, well, it's what, six months away-ish, five months away? Let's just, <laughs> here's, here's what we'll do. Here's, <laughs> this is maybe a little cheeky, but here's what we'll do. What's gonna come out first? City Skylines 2 on console, or Grand Theft Auto 6. I'll <laughs> leave your leave your votes in the comments below. We'll see which one people think is going to come out first. I'm hoping for Cities 2 on console. I'm hoping it's Q1 2025 at the latest, any further than that. And man, that sucks. But we'll see. Just to be clear, City uh, GTA 6 is like late next year by my understanding. So we're like still a year and a bit away from that game coming out. Hopefully Cities 2 is out on console and has had like at least an update before then but man it sucks i feel so sorry for the console players in this situation it's a really it's a really sucky time but take it from someone that played cities 2 when it came out ah uh, man you don't you don't want that on console because i mean look i was struggling at 30 frames and a pretty good pc uh we're not going to get into console versus pc in terms of performance but man that's Hmm. I, I don't envy those developers. I really don't. Anyway, thank you so much for watching or listening, everybody. I do appreciate it. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.